Allison here and in today's FileMaker tutorial we are going to learn how to use conditional formatting on fields to help prevent mistakes, uh, make the workday easier and uh, more productive, and also uh, deliver high quality customer service, uh, particularly when you're uh, dealing with orders, uh, which we will be doing today. So let's get started. I am looking at an order list and I have a found set of all of the orders that came in in April. And as I scroll through, uh, this is a very typical order list. Um, and, you know, if I focus in, I can see, you know, that some of these things are still processing, some have been delivered, uh, and we have an open one uh, at the bottom here. So, a little bit of uh, effort to sort of focus in and uh, understand what's going on with these orders versus I'm going to flip to a formatted uh, version of the same list. So now when we scroll through, very different experience. Um, this red one is highlighted because it's on hold. All the yellow ones are in processing. So I've got a couple here on hold and a bunch uh, that came in more recently that are uh, processing and our one open order that is green. So very different experience and ability to sort of quickly, you know, zone in and focus up on uh, what's happening with the April orders in a much different way than just looking at a straight on list, which, you know, if we go back to this list, this feels a bit more like a run on sentence compared with a formatted list, which gives you some punctuation. You know, we can look at, uh, okay, we've got all our processing, our on hold, etc. What's great about things like this is, you know, sure, you can do fines for what's in processing, but um, if you, you know, go in and, for example, you do uh, a search on, let's say, March orders, right? Uh, with formatting, you're like, wait a minute, why do we still have things on hold and processing in March? you've got this really, really jumps out at you as opposed to if you had no conditional formatting, you might just be looking for whatever it is you're looking for and not even realize that there's some things going on here that are not delivered. So these are the benefits of using conditional format. And now let's go behind the scenes and see how we went ahead and put this in place. So back looking at the April orders on the formatted list, we are going to edit the layout. And uh, I selected all of the fields. Uh, you can shift click on them, lasso them, use shift uh, command A to select all of the like objects, which in this case uh, is fields. And then they all are gonna get the same formatting then I'm going to right click or control click and choose the option for conditional formatting. And you'll see here that I have uh, three conditions here. So my first one is if the order status is open, then create a fill color that is green and a text color that is white. If the status is processing, Choose a fill color of this orangey yellow and a text color of white. And if the order is uh, on hold, then choose a fill color of red with a text color of white. You have other options here. You're not uh, limited to just color uh, for text and the fill. You could choose uh, things that are a bit more subtle or simple like bold, italic, underline, strike through uh, might be uh, an interesting option. And if you're working with some sort of a button uh, and have an icon on it, you can also uh, work with the icon color. And you have even more uh, formatting uh, options here in terms of uh, styles, condensed, superscript, subscript, uh, font size, and even font. So you have really terrific control over how you sort of give visual indicators of uh, what's going on so that it's not so much of a strain on the person looking at it to try to process uh, what information is in front of them. So uh, 
I'll add another one for delivered and uh, let's go ahead and uh, say that we'll make it gray for example. So I'm a big fan of copy and paste so I'm going to go ahead and control C and then add this and we're not going to choose a value we're going to choose a formula and then I'm going to go ahead and paste and uh, this time if I said uh, delivered Delivered. Uh, we can say it has a fill color of, I don't know, uh, this dark gray color and a text color of white. And so that's how you add a formula or a condition uh, to be able to change uh, the uh, format options for that particular field with that particular condition. So I've said OK, and now when we go into uh, exit layout, uh, we can see that all the delivered ones are in the gray color with the white. So that is our tutorial for today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a great day.